well, we're off on the road trip. My niece three back home, absolutely freezing, all my permissions are all frozen up, so we've come down to Bournemouth for a day out hunting for the bling bling. Uh, weather forecast, a bit cloudy, but at least it's a lot warmer, and it's, you see that on the dashboard there, it's seven and a half degrees <laughs> compared to the minus three when I left home two hours ago. Been a bit slow coming down, uh, a lot of roadworks, a lot of slow lorries trying to uh, overtake, going uphill, overtake another one, that's my pet, hate that. Why they just have to, can't wait till they're going downhill and get past quicker. Uh, one guy took four miles, I reckon, to, <laughs> just to get past this one lorry. Um, so, that aside, we're down here now, uh, down with the Excalibur this morning. Um, basically going coin shooting up to lunchtime. The low tide's about half past one. So we'll get out onto the wet sand and just see the Welcome to Bournemouth sign coming up now. So I'll catch up with you guys down on the beach. Hi guys. <coughs> got down on the beach eventually, got stuck in those roadworks. Took another half hour than normal, but the sun's come up, but a bit of a gloomy day over there. Got Hengsbury Head, the Celtic settlement sat on top of there, and Nyla White's over that way as well. And we don't look too bad the beach. So high tides in a couple of hours, so the tide's still coming in. There's a few little channels being opened up. What's interesting to me is down in the distance there, it's like they're doing some work on the beach. Well, hopefully they've moved a bit of sand around. I notice there's a groin also being demolished down there. Uh, looks like the, the, the waves have broke through it, so I'll go and investigate that first. Uh, I'll have a look down that way, if not any good, I'll head up the, my usual way up towards the uh, Bournemouth Pier. So I'll catch up with you guys later on. Uh, I've got the trusty Excalibur with me. See it there. But you can't really show it much because it's attached to uh, my back at the moment. <laughs> I've uh, got the detecting vest on from protectors and away we go. Lunch is in the pockets, little flask at the back and off we go. So I'll catch up with you guys as we go through the day, we'll catch up with all the facts. Well guys, first signal, looks like they've got a rifle casing. Or is it? Yeah it is. Not been fired though. It's a bit strange on the end there, it looks like the cordite's come out, yeah, as you can see there, so obviously the bit the rest of the bullet's somewhere else. You can see the always a good sign when you start getting these sort of things. It shows a beach has been moved around a while. Well it looks like we've got our first coin. Looks like a 2P. Or is that a first pound? There we go, we've found the pound already. First coin of the day. Get in, lucky days. I've come down into this cut here. You can see the sand's all piled up there, but there's about a four foot difference between the other side of the groin and this side. I've just stepped onto this side over a few little bits of silver paper, a bit of stainless steel, and found the pound now. So hopefully this uh, lower part between the groins will uh, be a bit more productive. Well, I've uh, just come from the pier this way, and Nothing. So let's uh, carry on up towards Hengsbury Head. Well, that one was quite deep. That's a good 12 inches down. Looks like Yuri Gell has been here. <laughs> Got a bed teaspoon. And just a old stainless steel one, but gave a nice signal. So, going to the junk pile. But there's a few more signals. I've had a couple of pennies as well, and some other bits of tat along here so a few more signals and we'll be quite happy. Well that's something different, got a USB stick. I don't know if it'll be any good or not but it's even an ID uh, anything off it if it does work and return it back to the owner. Well, we've got a few of the photographs and things on so we'll see what's on there. Another thing I've just noticed, I <laughs> heard this bleating, just had to look up on the hillside there. There's some goats up there clearing all the scrub. Just zoom in for you. Yeah, that must be part of the uh, scrub management that they're doing. Uh, goats will eat anything, won't they? And so, rather than doing it yourself, let them do it for you. Quite a few of them up there. Well, guys, I was looking for a new scoop. I think I just found it. The size of the bucket on that. Looks like they're putting the new seed defences in. Uh, 
just had a quick mooch down the next uh, bay where they've been working but all the sand's gone soft so everything's covered over so uh, I'll have to go back head towards the Bournemouth end I think best way uh, of digging that's for sure one scoop you get every find out <laughs> oh well just another 5p but there's quite a few coins been coming out of this little stretch here so I'll keep persevering oh well we've got a first bit of blink from out the waves uh, just an old bangle Oops, uh, deep down that was we do a good scoop well guys, high tide and it's getting quite choppy out there. Hopefully that's going to churn up the bottom of the beach for later on this afternoon. I'm just going to head along towards Bournemouth Pier now. I've been up the other way but about a dozen coins or so and a couple of bits and pieces but nothing fantastic that way so I'm heading off down my usual stretch down the straight down to Bournemouth Pier there working in between the groins. So hopefully we'll uh, get a little bit better than just a uh, loose change but you never know down Bournemouth so uh, hopefully we can get another shell case again unfired uh, a bit of sand movement round here so we a, a few coins already it's very interesting when you start finding these things but it definitely shows they've been here for a while so we'll just concentrate again Oh, that's an old one, it's an old Elizabeth II, penny 1962 by the look of things. A nice little uh, wispy signal, not to be ignored. Two scoops down, out that pops. Hi guys, out for the afternoon session now. This morning session had a few coins, a few bits and pieces, that big, what I thought was a bangle I got in the surf is actually a, a big earring. <laughs> it's the sort of thing that you used to see in Coronation Street with the barmaid there. I forget what her name was, Bet I think. <laughs> but anyway, we're here for low tide, that's in an hour and a half. You can see it's backed off quite nicely now. Just see a shelf in front of me here, going down there with the stones and everything. So I'll start off following that down towards Bournemouth Pier again, and see how far I can get. If I find any black sand of that, I'll, I'll concentrate on that area. So I'll uh, keep up with you guys this afternoon, just to let you know what we get. Well, well we got the first uh, Bit of bling bling, it's like a little silver ring. It's only just a, a boot scrape. You see, I just scraped the boot and out it popped. So, not very heavy. I think it's just a, a little 925 sitting in there. Not, not like glass with me to see it, but it looks like it's a little mark in there. The way it's come out nice and clean, maybe silver, maybe silver plate. We'll find it when you get back to the review. Oh, looking promising this side. 20p get in! And the reason I'm pleased to find that is I'm at the top of the beach. I don't know if you can see that. that was a couple of scoops down, we've got this black sand layer. That's where that 20p was sitting in. It's been there for a while looking at the, the state of it. This is the sort of thing you look for when you're on the high tide line. Just areas that have been washed out. Generally, to get down to there's always a black sand there somewhere. I think we found it there. So I'll just concentrate in this area. So we had the silver ring, which wasn't wasn't in the back, it was at the top. We've had a few more coins, and now this old trick piece come out. So you never know. Oh, that was a deep one. We've got three scoops down. We've just got an old green coin here. I don't know if it's too clear. I hate me or not. I've got a nice high pitch signal here. Just in that bit there. that long that one. Yeah. Nice little uh, silver earring. See if we can find the other one. Oh well, guys just going along the, the high tide line been falling parallel with my mate Steve here. <laughs> he just said that's nice. 
and it's uh, looks like a silver pendant looks pretty old as well just been uh, following back along the high tide line I'd uh, love to see if that is silver or not but first look it looks a uh, reasonable date to that yeah I'll go for silver plate more than silver but we'll find out when we get home right we're coming to the end of a hunt now uh, not been much this afternoon drawing the on the wet stuff but you never know unless you try I'll catch up with you guys at the review cheers Ed. hi guys it's Mel and welcome to the review and what a lovely day we had down in Bournemouth uh, a bit chilly but at least the rain kept off this time uh, I met up with a guy called Steve down there I've been talking to him on, on YouTube a few times I've been sending emails back and forward and met up with him on the, on the afternoon session He's a lovely guy so uh, good luck to you Steve, I'll hopefully we meet up some other time down there. Finds wise, as usual we deal with the junk and the usual pull tabs, loads of them. thing with the, the Excalibur, you, you, you're you picking up everything uh, the way I use it, I use it in pinpoint or metal all the time. So you have to dig these, because you never know, because sometimes they come in as a, a gold ring or, or whatever. So, you've got a pen, the Excalibur was uh, really sensitive, it picked up the end of the pen. So. That aside, that'll just go into the, the recycling bin now. Finds wise, the usual mixed bag, quite a few coins, uh, the bent spoon from Yuri Geller. I might straighten that up just for fun. Uh, USB, it looks a bit well gone, but we never know, we might get something off it, we might be able to trace some of the owner. Uh, shell cases, a few of those. Uh, bits of bling, plenty of coins. Got most of those coins where the, the, the diggers were churning up a lot of the beach, that, that bit in there. So I've got most of the coins down there and got chased off in the end because they moved up into the, the bay I was detected in. So uh, it's very unfortunate that, but the other side of the where they had been working, it's very soft sand, very dangerous to go on to. So if you guys are going to go down there, just be aware of the soft sand down that bottom end of the beach at the moment. And three bits of silver. Now you've got the silver earring. I'll give it a good check. See if there's any hallmarks on it. But coming out in that condition, it looks like it's a bit of roll, rolled silver rather than solid silver. We got the uh, bit of ring. Probably a, uh, a young girl's ring or something. That one, possibly a hallmark in it. There's a, some mark in there, but I'll have to have a look at that when it's cleaned up. And this interesting item with this pendant with a big stone in it. Now I'm still not sure if it's silver or not. But it does look it. Um, it looks pretty old as well, so we'll give that a check out once it's cleaned up. So overall, enjoyed my first hunt for a very, very long time down at Bournemouth. It's, uh, I've been laid up for a while, but now back in action again. We'll get a few more hunts down there throughout the years. I'll try and get at least one hunt down in Bournemouth every month. So I know you guys that like the beach videos, thank you very much for, for watching. And I'll try and get a few more done. And also I'd like to thank all my subscribers and other you guys that are just about to subscribe we just we smashed through the the million views mark last year and now we're coming up to 4000 subscribers so thank you very much to everybody who has subscribed and anybody else that like to subscribe into my channel very grateful and i'm looking forward to all your comments so it's your pal mal signing off for a, a nice hunt and a nice day at bournemouth happy hunting to you all cheers then